Hello and welcome, my name is Max and today we are playing Factorio Space Age and what we're going to do is that we're interested in this. We are interested in armor piercing rounds and why is that? Because, well, originally we wanted to get this and this and we still do and that's why we actually crafted this whole thing. Look how beautiful it is at night. It glows kind of green, uranium green. Oh, look at this. We already have four of these, which will come in really handy when we want to craft our uh, this portable fission reactor. But we do not have utility science packet. And look, 1,000, not counting this. So it's not worth it. I do not want to make yet another temporary build for this and for the yellow one. No, we're not going to do that. From now on, if we want to do something, we'll do it the proper way, which is the main bus. And oh boy, I want this. It's only 100, but I refuse to do this. I want the main bus to work and I want this to... Uh, okay, let's close this. So what are we going to do? We're going to we're gonna do the grind. We're going to do it the hard way. We're going to craft as many of these armor piercing rounds as we can take our tank and our laser turrets and whatever we can and go out and clear these this probably these and a few of these create ourselves a safe zone wall it off let the robots clean up this whole area and start with our main bus that's it enough is enough okay now look conveniently this is made of copper steel and firearm, which it's in and out of itself is made out of iron plates. Okay, steel, copper, iron plates. Ideas? What do you think? So, what does this mean? This plus thingy here means this one factory can support multiple of these. Okay, and maybe one more. I don't think it's going to be able to support three oh yes it does in fact it supports perfectly three of these machines or it supports these three of these machines perfectly which is amazing so we can do uh let's do a tiny design work let's let's see how we can create mini blueprint that we like to look at we're gonna pretend that this can actually feed four of these. And then what we're going to do is to do this. We put one in the middle. It uses a single item or single uh, ingredient. Mm hmm Like this. Okay. And this goes in. This creates some stuff. Normal rounds. Which in turn is going to be fed into these. Now these, on the other hand, require two more ingredients. How are we going to do that? Simple. Let's assume this is going to be the line feeding them. Now, there's something interesting we can do with these splitters like this. So how much of each do we need? Well, five copper. Copper is more, uh, consumes more copper. Doesn't matter. We'll just name this copper. And this one's going to be steel. And this one's going to be iron like this. How about that? Now, I tend to use these tiny power poles in my designs. But what if I did this and went for the bigger one just to make it a bit easier on myself? So something like this. And we'll have this. And then we, of course, need a line out, right? Can we do this? Can we pull this off? We need these red ones. So you can put this here. When you're done, you can put this here. Now, what about these? I need to move this a little bit. Mm -hmm. In that case, I think I'll be happy with this design instead. This is a bit too much, isn't it? Let's just connect it to somewhere, see how it looks like. Yeah, no, we need this. But we don't need that and that. Oh. This looks good. This looks better than I thought. And what's, uh, what's it going to be for this one? It's going to be the piercing rounds. Oh, biters, I'm coming for you. You better believe it. Mm. This one goes in, this one goes out, this one goes in, this one goes in. I'm happy with this. I am happy with this. Let's see. So this one, you want to see the belt 
situation and my reference is always the red belt because that's abundantly available early on it gives us this many items now we're going to increase this and keep an eye on this let's see okay see half a belt half a belt so at this point three of these tiles will consume half a belt of copper now we do not have even though we have half a belt here the other half is also available here so we have one belt of copper so six would be the number to go for and we don't care about the rest because well there are going to be th this is going to be the bottleneck our belt has the maximum capacity of one copper coming in so it's tileable on red belt up to a maximum of six tiles now now that we've done that we create the blueprint how like this piercing rounds and we call it a start why it's a start block and that's how we name it oh okay and we do not need to snap to anything because we want to be able to put this anywhere now how are we going to do the rest okay so we need this um, if we have this that means this cannot be like this it has to be also like that so it connects with the next block right and we want to i'm aware that this one bleeds in but maybe we'll remove it so what if we have something like this would it work i think it does okay in that case let's bring it here remove this make it tileable and name it piercing rounds tileable tileable yeah oh, okay how we use this we first put this down then after this is done, we take the tileable one. And I said we can go like up to six. So we put this down, press shift, one, two, three, four, five, and six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Yeah, something like this. You got it? Now, since we do not want to do it here, because we cannot test it here, let's dismantle the whole thing and go test it up there where we can. Or should it? Mm, let's not put it here. Let's put it, let's put it here, actually. It was a, no, don't take my stuff. The robots are coming faster. Come on, do it, do it. <laughs> you got nothing. Go back, you losers. Okay. We do not want to put it here because we don't want to block this one, but we can put it here facing this direction. So later on, we can merge these two as well, right? Looks okay. I'm happy with this. Let's put it down. And we are only going to put down the starter block, by the way. Why? You might ask because we need to test it first before we go crazy with the tiles. Iron. Copper, steel, I'm on it. And uh, the uh, copper. Ah, look, this is working. So is this, please. Come on, come to life. Did I do something wrong? Oh, yeah, I did. Uh, no, this is how it should be. Yes, now they're working. And our belt is ready. I think we should just save it. What am I doing? What am I? Why am I getting too excited? <sighs> okay. Now that this is working, let's do the tiles, shall we? So we said we can support six of these. We pick the tile. We know it's facing this way. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hopefully it works. Come on. Okay. The yellow one's working and the red one's working. Nice. Good enough. I know what's going on here and what's going on here. And I just can't be bothered at this point. These blueprints should be uh, upgraded, hopefully. And yeah, these are all working. I'm happy. They're all facing the right direction. Now we've got plenty of these going. Awesome. Also, the tank looks extra full. We don't need that. Let's uh, empty whatever is inside it. And yes, this is how we're going to do it. The lazy way. Lazy way is the best. Do, 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 do. Now we back away. And enjoy the automation. <laughs> oh, we need these those capsules. But yeah, we'll pick them up later. All right. That's it for this episode. Thank you for watching. Thank you for sticking around until the end. If you liked it, please hit that like and subscribe button. And I'll see you in the next episode where we will go hunt down some biters. Take care. Goodbye.